One of the things I think people like about the premium system is I made it so simple. And uh, I could have grouped these. I could have ended up with the three steps to having a luncheon. But I broke it down into, in, you know, I could say get your advertising together. Well, what I did here was I said, you know, you got a newspaper ad, you got a postcard. I broke it down exactly step by step and just kind of piecemealed it. And I think people probably like that. So, I don't know. Um, Headcount rules. Typical turnout is roughly around 15. You must call everybody the day before the luncheon to confirm their attendance. Uh, verify the start times. You will experience some attrition, like I talked about. Uh, I had down here at the bottom, if the turnout's four or less, I cancel. I don't know that I would do that. I go back and forth on that. I mean, I had four folks show up once. That's why I put it in there, and they, they were there as couples. So I really had how many. So what I did was I just pulled a chair up, sat down, and started talking to them. You know, so um, you have to decide. Uh, it's more fun if there's more. Um, seminar um, uh, examples, I had some signs set up. I staged the room. I have um, X number of seats. When you came in here, I had a, an expectation of, of how many folks would show up the first day. And the first thing that happened was I had to add some tables in the back. And you guys might not have noticed that unless you were in those, those chairs, but, but we added, added some tables. What I didn't want to do is have you walk in and have this thing be an echo chamber. I could have set chairs all the way to that back table back there, and, and, and then you guys have been scattered all over the map, and it wouldn't have been maybe a, a good a, a boot camp for you because you're all scattered out. I want you up here close where you're, you're paying attention and you're, you're learning, and that's what you came for. And so... Um, what you're going to find with your luncheon is the same thing. You don't want them scattered all over the room. They might, another thing that happened, it's a mental thing. They'd look around and say, well, you know, was I, I, I the only person that was coming? I mean, where's, you know, where's all these other folks with all these empty chairs, right? Leads to the wrong impression. So, uh, so I like setting it tight. And so if you're thinking you're going to have um, 20 folks show up, you know, I might set the room for 14, and then have the chairs back over in the corner, and as people walk in, they'll take the, the empty seats, and once those are filled up, if more people come in, then I start pulling from those, that stack of chairs. I don't have tables like you have. You're set up in, in uh, classroom style. I set the luncheon up in theater style, which is no tables, just chairs. I want everybody up close. 